Hello, I have a brand new machine kit image. I'm going to boot on a BeagleBone Black hooked to a Bebopper board. Turn this back into the power button. There we go. I have a serial console here. This is a generic x86 PC that I used to have talking to my Arduino board. It's buried down in there in the ramps underneath the ramps. But I'm going to get my printer running on a BeagleBone Black today. Now this is a first time boot. This is a customized version of the Robert Nelson imaging scripts which you may be familiar with if you've installed Ubuntu or Debian on your BeagleBone white or black or various other TI development boards. It's booting up and getting an IP address. Um, if you do not have a serial terminal, one of the things it does is regenerate the SSH host keys, which can take a while. So be patient. It will eventually come up and give you an SSH login. Uh, it does not do that really fast on the first boot. It gets better. There we go. Shake. This may take some time. It's not too bad, but... Don't go pounding on the keys or pulling the plug and thinking something's broken if you're waiting for it on that first boot. And there we go. SSH has started. So I'm going to actually switch to another terminal here. And yes, it's got new host keys. Type in our password, Linux CNC. That's the default password and the default username. So now we're running a shell on the BeagleBone. And we're ready to launch Linux CNC. And we'll background it in case we need to do anything else. So the display is going to be popping up. Again, it's a remote X display. This is just a generic PC. You can actually do that with Windows. You can do it with uh, just about anything. Um, if you had an LCD hooked up to the BeagleBone, you could probably use that, but the Bebopper pins conflict with the LCD, so you would need one of the Replicate or one of the other 3D driver boards that I do not have. Uh, and it wants my password again. And it's starting up. And you can tell it enabled the Bebopper. The, the stepper motors are now being driven. You can hear the little hum. And the Axis GUI pops up. Now, in order to actually do something, this is a little trickier than the, um, let's see if I can get a little better picture here. Uh, Linux CNC is designed for real machine control, so it's designed to do things like keep you from chopping off your hands and killing people with uh, uh, very large milling machines. Uh, there's machine power, that's the first thing you have to do, that's kind of an emergency stop. Um, actually, that is emergency stop. The next button here is machine power. So now we've got our machine theoretically turned on. We have to home the axes. I don't have limit switches hooked up right now, so we have to just do this manually. I've positioned my X and Y at uh, about zero. It's not real critical for a 3D printer like it is for an actual milling machine. Um, and I remember Z was at four millimeters the last time I turned it off, and uh, the extruder doesn't really matter. So we've homed all of our axes. Uh, now we can move if we'd like. So um, actually, let's we'll move over to about X100, Y100, about the middle of the print bed. There we go. And again, I'm still at about Z equals four, so. We'll go to minus four on Z. And we'll check. That should be, eh, that's a little bit loose. So, 
come back in here and it'll go down about a tenth of a millimeter yeah, still just a smidgen there we go alright so we'll home that it's telling us we're already homed I know that okay so now Z zero everything's set up so let's move off of the print bed and extrude a little bit of plastic we'll go back over here manual control A is the extruder we'll switch back to continuous and we'll go and there we go yeah plastics coming out so let me clear that off and we will zero that again and let's load something a little bit more interesting than that that's actually set up to print from a 3D printer. I've got a little key fob design which is essentially the same Linux C logo, it's just extruded and uh, turned into a little key fob shape. So there we go, now we're ready to print. And away it goes. Now the nifty thing about Linux CNC I've had troubles getting the low-level hardware working with the BeagleBone Black. The 3.8 kernel kind of switched everything around. Um, but now that that's going, the Linux CNC stuff itself is actually really flexible. There's a PAL interface uh, hardware abstraction layer that allows you to glue together lots of different control um, technology. PID loops, uh, servo loops, um, Linux CNC can handle um, oh standard PLC type stuff you would do with the uh, programmable logic controller for machine floor things. Uh, it's really really powerful. So you can tie uh, a bunch of IOs to things. You can have uh, programmable homing like you need for a Delta type printer. You can actually do custom kinematics, not just for uh, delta type printers but also uh, four or five six degree of freedom printers hexapods uh, which are basically uh, Stuart platforms like a flight simulator uh, you can do all that with Linux CNC um, it's really really quite uh, quite powerful quite flexible it's got a very advanced g-code interpreter there's a lot of g-code that the typical Arduino firmware for RepRaps does not even know anything about. Uh, there's actually multiple coordinate spaces in Linux CNC. You have machine coordinates, world coordinates, part coordinates. Um, you can do transforms between those. You can do rotations in different planes. It's um, uh, it's pretty nifty. Uh, one of the things I'm really looking forward to doing is using uh, both natural arcs, which I believe some of the Arduino firmware can support, but also um, uh, NURBS, if you're familiar with NURBS, it's a, a curve definition, uh, it's a nice way to describe curved surfaces and not just build things up out of tiny little line segments. So what do you want to do, uh, how, do you, how do you replicate this if you want to do it at home? Well. Uh, I'm calling this the machine kit image. It's uh, again a customized version of Debian that has uh, Linux CNC pre-compiled and installed all the dependencies you need. It's an SD card image that is uh, you download and build. Uh, it's based on uh, Robert C. Nelson's excellent scripts that he has provided on GitHub. I have forked those. Uh, if you want to go all the way back to the source, you can grab my GitHub imaging scripts and compile those. It'll actually build an image on either uh, natively on an ARM or uh, it'll cross build on an x86 platform. So uh, you do need the QEMU static in installed but uh, Robert scripts do a good job of pulling that in if you don't have it already. So you need uh, that or a bunch, and a bunch of time or you can just download the image. I'll post links for where to get the, the pre-configured SD card images. They're bigger than uh, uh, 
the typical Debian install because it's, it's about a gig compressed. Uh, you'll want at least a 4 gig memory card. Um, I'm using 8s and 16s, but it's not real full. Um, let's see, that's a good question. How much space is used? Uh, let's see, we're using about uh, 2.7 gig of our uh, 7.5 gig. So yeah, you want a 4 gig memory card. Uh, but that's plenty big enough. You don't need 8 or 16 unless you got it sitting around like I did. So, here we go. Um, again, this is the BeagleBone Black. It's running on a Bebopper board. And uh, here's my BeagleBone White. It's, uh, it's not forgotten. It's going to find a new purpose. I'm switching back and forth between them, but uh, now the 3.8 kernel's working. Uh, the same image will work on both cards, both the BeagleBone Black and the White. Um, and it's printing the text now. That's always kind of fun to watch. I love the sound of stepper motors. Now I currently have this moving pretty slow because I'm not really trying to test speed. I have had the system running up into the 500 millimeters a second kind of range with about five or 6,000 millimeters per second per second acceleration, but that's a little fast to print and I'm mostly worried about getting the technical details working right and not how fast I can print at the moment. So there's still quite a bit of work to do on getting the thermal control calibrated in. There we go. And look, it says Linux CNC. So there is Linux CNC running on the machine kit Debian image on a BeagleBone Black.